Good morning. No, good afternoon, everybody. It's definitely not the morning. Hello. Yeah, when are you ever up here in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. What are you guys looking at? Something fit. Yeah? Something white and black. Fit. Me? No. Oh. Get, get real, mate. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> and here we have the RX7 back on home soil. Happy days. Yay or nay? Yay. Super yay. 150% yay. Yeah, that makes me happy, man. If my boys are saying yay, then I'm a, I'm a happy bunny. What do you guys think of this steering wheel? Nay. <laughs> that has got to go and be thrown at someone. Yay or nay? I've what seen this car doing um, scuba super lap. I think it's very fast, isn't it? It really is, yeah. It's like the sort of the analogy with Zimax is less power, but more about chassis and handling and how it puts the power down. I'm pretty sure this did a crazy, like, crazy fast lap, this car. Does Mitt or approve? I'm still reading over the S15, but I mean... <laughs> It's not bad. Yeah, we made it back safely from Shah. We got back at last night about sort of half five, six o'clock, and I kind of just did some editing. We thought we'd kind of get the car out in the day. We're going to take it for a little drive today. Winter is upon us, and they're going to be salting the roads pretty soon, gritting the roads, so we're not going to be taking it out in the winter. Hey, voila. Very sexual. I don't really want to let John drive this, to be honest, but... a sort of good walk around so you can kind of sort of see visually without me chatting shit. Quick little look in the interior as well, obviously Apexy Power FC with the Commander. The only thing that is a bit unsightly is this steering wheel, I'm going to look to get a Keys Racing one. We might also swap the Sparco out for a Pride, this one's actually quite tight as well for me. Definitely all the materials to do some. Six skids. What's obviously very striking with this car is it's got an ADGT full RE Amemia body kit, complete with all these carbon fiber accents on the on the diffusers. So it's really, really sick when you get up close. Definitely not London friendly, but we will be taking it to London to do some braps, show those supercars what's what. V-mount setup as well with a nice bit of ducting. If we come down here, we can probably see a little bit more. So that's your that's your radiator and that's your intercooler up there. So the air is kind of forced into the rad or up into the intercooler. Ta-da! Here we are. First thing I'm gonna say is the seat is tiny. Let's get us started. Whoa! Rotary baby! Out on the open road, it does drive really nice. Obviously, it does have full track coilovers on it, but Saying that, it's stiff, but it's not overly stiff. It can still suck up the bumps, which is pretty nice. One thing I'm gonna do today is just kind of monitor some of the temperatures, make sure the oil pressure stays consistent, the oil temperature doesn't get too high. I'm gonna be monitoring the exhaust gas temperatures as well, just to make sure the tune's all good. And yeah, and, and enjoy it. Jesus Christ, proper, proper responsive. Literally put your foot down, minimal lag, the thing just lifts up and takes off. This takes response to a whole new level. This is going to have absolutely zero MPG, I can tell you that. Did a 
great that we've now got a work, well it works at the moment, but yeah, we've got a working car with a turnkey solution that we can actually create content on now. Literally, it's actually quite hard to break traction in this. Whatever they've done to this chassis, it really does stink the power down, man. You can really feel the car just kind of lifts up and does a wheelie. It's nuts. I think this definitely gets a firm 20 out of 10. That's the highest score in an ML car review. I've been monitoring the gauges. Water temp stays nice and consistent. Oil pressure's been fine. All temp's been really sensible. Exhaust gas temperatures are sensible. Something I've also noticed is the gearing on this is really long. I think maybe it's been set up for maybe like a longer track or a track with quite long straights. Because you can keep it in first gear for a really long time compared to my S15, which has got a very short ratio box. Um, this is actually comparably quite long ratio, which is really good, man. You can really kind of use the revs. I'm just going to pop to the petrol station now and put a full tank of V-Power in for Mrs. ML. John's done about a quarter tank already, to be fair. All right, let's get some fuel. Push for fuel. So you guys can kind of see how much wider the rear over fenders are. That's the original body lines there. Oh, look at that. Beautiful Porsche enters the building. Lovely example. Bit of Shell V-Power. Be quite interesting to see how much fuel I can squeeze in her. We're starting to lose light a little bit now and my battery's getting very low on my camera but yeah I really wanted to kind of bring the car out uh, before winter really set in just to show you guys what she's all about but I think needless to say you can tell from my expressions and how I talk about the car it really is a piece of kit this. I haven't driven a massive amount of RX7s but I've driven enough to know what they should feel like and this is by far one of the best ones I've ever, ever driven, it really is. I'm actually gonna be detailing the car with Scott in the next couple of weeks before we put it away for storage. Quite mad when you're in a little town like this, loads of people kind of sort of stop and stare at the car. It's very striking from the outside. When I popped it up earlier on and had a little look from the back, it looks really good because it's, you know, it's quite a bit wider than a normal, normal RX-7, but RX-7s are sort of quite visually wide anyway, so once you add the over fenders on and all the little carbon bits, it really does make this look like a sort of little little race car. Me and Mrs. Monkey, we're probably gonna take the car up to London this weekend, as long as it doesn't rain, or as long as they don't sort of grit the roads, because we don't wanna get any grit underneath the car. So we've got some more driving adventures coming up for you guys. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna wrap it up here though. I hope you guys have enjoyed this cheeky little RX-7 episode. Hopefully you love the, uh, the turbo sounds. I'm pretty stoked to get back myself and kind of hear what it sounds like. No doubt it's gonna sound absolutely savage.